I'm gonna be showing you how to make a chocolate mousse today. It is lighter than air. I'm Nick and you're watching The Scram Line where I teach you how to make delicious desserts designed to impress. This chocolate mousse is perfect for chocolate lovers like me. It's the perfect chocolate hit for when you've got those cravings. It's like eating chocolate clouds. It is so airy and delicious and it only has six ingredients. I'm gonna teach you how to make it right now. The first step is getting our chocolate melted with our butter. We wanna chop up some really good quality chocolate so that it melts really easily in the microwave. If you don't have a microwave, an alternative to this step is actually popping it on the stove on top of a double boiler and melting it that way. So we're gonna chop this up and add the butter in there. We are going to microwave this for 30 seconds at a time, stirring each time until it's nice and smooth. And then we're gonna set it aside to cool to room temperature. While our chocolate is over there resting and cooling at room temperature, let's move on to our eggs. So our eggs are what are gonna give this mousse its really light, airy texture. We're gonna need to separate our eggs. Everybody has a different way of doing this. I'm gonna show you the way I do it. So what you do is you grab two eggs, you tap them together, one of them is going to crack and that is the one that you use. Some people like to use their hands when they're separating eggs. It actually makes me cringe when I see people doing that. I know that people do it with clean hands, but just like that feeling of egg yolk on your hands. <laughs> so I actually use the shells to separate the eggs. It's kind of like playing swapsies with the egg yolks and letting the egg whites out. We're going to pop our egg yolks into a separate bowl because we're gonna be using those in the recipe as well. I have a cheeky little eggshell that's gotten into my egg whites and I saw this thing on TV once where this guy was saying that eggshells are attracted to eggshells and it kind of made me giggle, but it's actually true. So I found the best way to actually get an eggshell out of your egg whites is to actually use the eggshell. It kind of cuts through the egg whites and it's a really easy way of scooping up that eggshell that's in there because you don't want that in there. Now, it's really important also to note that you don't want any of your egg yolks in your egg whites because we're going to be whipping this up to make a meringue and it won't whip up if there are any fats in there. So you also want to make sure that your bowl is clean. We're going to set these egg whites aside and we're going to move on to whipping our cream. When you're whipping up your cream, we're gonna be using heavy cream. You wanna make sure that your cream is chilled straight out of the fridge. It just whips up better. Some people go as far as using metal bowls that they've kept in the fridge or the freezer for about 20 or 30 minutes because that's how you get really good results when you're whipping cream. So mine has been sitting in the fridge overnight and I'm gonna pour it into my mixing bowl. We're also going to be using some really good quality vanilla extract, so pop some of that in there. Now, today for this recipe, I'm gonna be using my trusty electric hand mixer, but if you have a stand mixer and you wanna use that, you can do that and just use a whisk attachment. So we're gonna whip this up until we reach stiff peaks. Once you've reached stiff peaks with your cream, we are gonna be adding one egg yolk to this cream at a time and folding it through the cream. Now, today we are using raw eggs. Using fresh raw eggs is generally safe and that's what I'm using today. But if you don't want to eat raw eggs, there are plenty of recipes online that don't use raw eggs for mousse but I'm gonna be using them in this recipe today. One thing you're going to notice is that when you add your egg yolks, your cream is gonna slightly deflate and you're gonna be like, oh no, what happened to my beautiful, lovely whipped cream? The aeration is still actually in there, even though it kind of liquefies a little bit, there's still gonna be nice fluffy mousse at the end. It looks like all of the air is out of there, but don't worry, there's still air in here. We've missed those egg yolks in there. We're gonna set this aside and we're gonna move on to our egg whites. And then we're pretty much ready to put this thing together. 
With the egg whites, you want to make sure that you're using clean beaters. Again, adding any sort of fat into those egg whites is going to prevent them from whipping up nicely. And this is probably the most important part of the recipe to get a nice airy mousse. I'm going to start off mixing these on medium high speed and then I'm going to put it up to high speed. Once we reach soft peaks and it's kind of like at the point where it's not quite holding its shape but it's nice and frothy, we're going to start slowly adding our sugar in there. Now the reason why we do this slowly is because we want to slowly introduce the sugar into the egg whites so it gives it time to dissolve and if you add it too quickly it can actually cause your egg whites to deflate and that's not what we want. We want nice fluffy thick glossy egg whites. So we've reached nice, stiff, glossy meringue stage. We're going to set this aside because we're going to get to the final step before we start putting this all together. I'm so excited because this is delicious. So our chocolate mixture has cooled to room temperature. We are ready to put all of this deliciousness together. And again, it's really important that your chocolate is at room temperature so that you don't risk deflating all of the air that you just whipped into this deliciousness. So we're going to be adding a little bit of our egg yolk cream mixture into our melted chocolate, just a little bit, and we're going to fold this through the chocolate. Once you have it completely mixed and you can't see any of that cream mixture in there, let's go on and add the rest of the cream mixture. So all of that into the chocolate and we're gonna continue folding this through until it's completely well combined. But you wanna make sure you're folding and not mixing too hard so that you don't get rid of those air bubbles that we've just whipped. Now, the magic happens when we add these egg whites. It's the last step and it's just what makes this so airy. So we're gonna begin by adding just one spatula full of these egg whites into our chocolate mixture. We're gonna, same thing, just fold them through gently. And then once it's completely mixed through, we're gonna add the rest of our egg whites. This deliciousness is completely done. We are ready to pop these into our serving glasses. Now there's a couple different ways you can do this. This is thick enough to pipe with a piping tip and get nice grooves if you're using a star tip for example. I'm actually just going to be piping this into my serving cups just without a piping tip. But you can actually spoon this in if you don't have a piping tip handy, you can just spoon this into your serving glasses. This recipe is gonna make four cups. It's gonna make four full cups. So you can stretch this out to six cups if you like. I love my chocolate mousse, so I like to make sure that everyone gets a good amount. So I've got my serving cups here. We are going to just simply pipe that mousse into our serving cups give these a gentle tap just to flatten them out, but you don't want to over tap because the air guys, you'll get rid of the air and you definitely want it in there. It's actually ready to eat now, but if you pop it in the fridge and let it set for a couple hours, it chills, which is really nice, but it also aerates even more. So you can also make this ahead of time. It's a great ahead of time recipe for like a dinner party. We're going to pop these in the fridge because I want to show you just how beautiful this mousse texture is. For such a simple dessert, I think a simple garnish just really finishes this beautiful mousse off. So I've actually whipped up some cream, popped it in a piping bag and I fitted a open star tip on the end of my piping bag because I just want to be a little bit fancy. So we are going to pipe our cream on top of our chocolate mousse just to finish it off. I reckon this is missing something, maybe some chocolate shavings. 
I think that's it guys. This is my lovely airy chocolate mousse. It's so easy to make, six ingredients, and it's honestly just so incredible. It's like eating chocolate clouds. So I'm gonna dig into this. I usually don't eat on camera, but because I'm in my kitchen filming for you guys today, I'm gonna give this a go, but please be kind in the comments. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. That is delicious. I'm gonna finish the rest of this off, but before I do, I wanna quickly remind you guys to hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell so that you guys find out as soon as there's a new video. I really enjoyed being in my kitchen today filming for you guys. I know that some of you have been wanting me to do this and I'm glad that you've suggested it. I had a lot of fun actually making a simple dessert for a change as well. So if there are other simple desserts you'd love to see me make on the scram line, please let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to hear your lovely suggestions. I'll see you all on the next episode of the scram line. Bye.